Hello you all, I am Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today we are going to talk about some of the mistakes that I made when I was starting out on my spiritual journey. Now you guys know from my previous video, I say you start your spiritual journey from the day you are born. No matter if you grew up in the church, you grew up Muslim, you grew up whatever, you're always on a spiritual journey because you're always on a quest to your destination. So it's a never ending journey. But these are some of the mistakes I made but starting out in spirituality that I just wanted to share with you all just because we may have some things in common. Now first things first you guys know from my previous video where I was talking about my experience leaving the church and why I left the church. I was introduced to the world of spirituality through my boyfriend you know the Baron. You can get your Baron shirt from rsoulmatters.com. It will be linked below. He is the reason why I even discovered this entire world. And with me being an overachiever, even in high school, middle school, elementary school, always wanted to be the smartest in the room, always wanted to know more. I have tiger parents, so it was all about get A's, get A's, get A's, get A's. So I naturally wanted to... I wouldn't say I wanted to compare myself, but I naturally compared myself to other people who have been in the spiritual world for years and years and years, thinking that I needed to know as much as they know. Like, oh man, I'm not really spiritual because I don't know as much as them or they sound so smart. I wish I knew as much as them or wow, I wonder what book they read to get to that point. Not knowing that you're always going to be discovering more information. You guys know that I believe that you should always remain a student of spirituality just because I feel like with some spiritual people when they get to the point where they feel like they know everything and they're entitled, they have a higher title than people, they tend to get a little condescending and rude just because they have that superiority complex, that imposter syndrome. So I always realize like, okay, you may not know as much as the next person, but that's the beauty of it because you have more opportunities to learn. You have more opportunities to discover. But don't compare your knowledge to other people. Don't feel like you're not as spiritual as someone because they look more spiritual. They wear a lot of crystals and she always wears all white and, you know, she meditates in the middle of the park and she has crystals on her wrist and, you know, she is vegan. So maybe I'm not as spiritual as that person. You are. We're all in different parts of our journey, but the journey is the journey. So don't feel like it's a race. It's a journey. Don't worry about the other people. Of course, create a village if you can of other people who are like minded so you can encourage each other. But never think about someone knows more than me. Just think about it as they know something that I don't. So I would like to share knowledge and exchange knowledge with them because I may know something that they don't know. This may sound childish, <laughs> but... I automatically associated the Orisha spirit signs from the universe and all that stuff with ghosts. I was so afraid like being with my boyfriend I wish you guys could experience some of the stuff he just goes through when he's looking for a sign or something or a spirit trying to get his attention they make their presence known they knock over stuff and his spirit closet that like we hear like hard down knocks like that and it's when I first started I was like can you walk me to the bathroom I used to be so scared because I've never seen anything happen like that before like oh my god did that candle really blow out by itself or we didn't put that there where did that come from and actually seeing it in person I said this is Disney Channel do not look under the bed Monsters Inc Bewitched all of this and what I used to be so scared of it because I just thought it was all ghosts and people are going to haunt you and try to come after you until I realized it's nothing like that. So don't be afraid when you ask for messages from the universe or you ask for a sign, you communicate with the Orisha. Don't associate it with ghosts. It's not ghosts. It's not scary. It's not harmful. Another mistake I made when communicating with the Orisha, I thought that I had to put on a suit and tie wear my best hairstyle, make sure my heels are at least six inches, having the perfect setup, the perfect time. I used to think that I had to be so prim and so proper and pray like other people pray, speak to them like other people speak to them, when naturally they know who you are. So don't go up to your altar like, Dear Oshun, I am so wonderfully happy to be in your presence right now. Oh, what an honor it is to be here today. So the reason I am here, do not be yourself. And that's one of the things that makes spirituality so easily welcoming and comfortable because 
spirituality is you it accepts you you are you you are spirituality it goes hand in hand like you have it within you so you can fully be yourself another point and this goes into the first point i made with wanting to always be the smartest and know a whole bunch of information when my boyfriend would have conversation with you know his spiritual friends or priests and initiates and all that stuff i would be silent and you guys, I am a Gemini. So being silent is like, girl, what is wrong with you? I would be completely silent just because I felt like I wasn't knowledgeable enough to have any opinion or input. I remember one time we went to a botanica in St. Pete. The owner invited us there. And this was before I was black with y'all. Yeah, I was just the Baron's girlfriend. And of course, I was diving into it, learning about it, but they had full long two, three hour conversation and I didn't say a word. The only input I gave if he needed a witness to something, I'd be like, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that happened. I didn't say anything just because I felt so intimidated. Like, oh my God, these people up here in all white. Oh God, he got this hat on. I don't know what that means. He got like on 30 Elikis. Oh Lord, she owned a botanica. So of course, you know more than me. Let, let me not ask any questions because I don't want to. You know, sounds stupid. Oh, shoot. They just kneeled at the door. What, what are they doing over there? Like I was just sitting in trying to take in everything to the point where I shut down because I feel like I wasn't worthy enough to have an opinion. So that goes to there's no stupid questions. There's no stupid opinions. If you're surrounding yourself with the right people, you should always feel comfortable to state your piece or to ask a question. Another mistake I made was sharing my experience with too many people. Now, when I first got into spirituality, I was super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, what a wonderful world. Like, I was just super excited. I wanted to share my experience with people. And that's when I realized, girl, people are Christians out here. You just can't be talking about your first spell. Girl, don't be talking about these crystals. These people believe in holy water. So, like, you up here trying to explain Florida water. Like, I realize that you can't share your experience with everybody. But don't let that discourage you. Spirituality should mostly be kept to yourself, especially with the deeper experiences that you go through some people aren't going to be that accepting to it so just be careful who you share information with so the last mistake I made and this has really come to pass and I actually noticed this yesterday I underestimated how powerful I am and you're probably doing the same thing too around this time last year I manifested something like honey I went to the ocean and I really manifested something and I have fully seen it come to pass. And I was just like, it's amazing when you put something in writing, you put forth the effort, you believe it, you don't have any doubt, you trust the process, things come true. And it's overwhelming and shocking because what I manifested, I was like, did, did I really just... And when I go back and read my manifestations of that day, I'm like, everything has come true. When you really manifest something and you see it, you're, you're just taking a bet like, wait, I really just, I, I said it and it happened. Like, I did that. It's shocking. So I underestimated how powerful words are in general. Your words, her, her words. His words, their words, non-binary words, everybody's words are so powerful. So make sure you use them carefully. But those are just a few of the mistakes I made starting out on my spiritual journey. Let me know if you guys can relate to any of those mistakes. What mistakes you made? What mistakes are you making now? What are you correcting? Let's talk down below. But like I always say, as above, so below. As within, so without. As the universe, so the soul. Until next time, you guys. Ashe, baby.